Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies and welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you my first impressions on this Artengo racket which is called TR960. So stay tuned. You can't be serious man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line. So before I start talking about this really interesting budget really friendly fr wallet friendly oriented racket let me tell you how i got to it so my friend who is a volleyball player asked me if i could recommend him if i can recommend him a tennis racket and I said, of course, I can recommend you any racket or a racket for any style of play, but I need to know how often do you play, how you play and how much do you want to invest in the racket. And he told me that he plays with his father's racket, uh, which was the Wilson, some kind of hammer uh, racket, a two, 280 gram racket and that he plays let's say occasionally when his friends ask him to to play a doubles and sometimes it's uh, two hours a week sometimes it's two hours in a month so he really plays uh, occasionally so not regularly and he asked me if I can recommend him a racket and I was like okay so uh, I will I will give you advice if you don't want to spend lots of money but you still want to have a really decent experience that is almost on the same level as with the main brands like Head, Bubblelot or Wilson just go to the Decathlon store and look for our Tango tennis rackets which is the brand of the Decathlon store and look for the let's say for the more expensive rackets which this one is one of the let's say more expensive rackets in the Decathlon store for let's say advanced players uh, on let's say in the on the intermediate level of play and he was like okay I will do it and he came up with this racket and after he tested the racket he was really really pleased how how better he got during his uh, tennis match that the racket gave him more power more uh, precision more feel and everything more than than with the older Wilson 280 gram racket and I asked him if he can borrow me the racket and he said of course I can borrow you the racket you, you gave me great recommendation I'm really satisfied with the racket and he gave me the racket and he asked me to string the racket with let's say my favorite string or my string of choice and I've put in the racket the uh, Technifiber black coat 1.28 millimeters and uh, I strung it on 24 and 23 kilos which is which are exactly my specifications so I tested the racket today I've played with the racket for one and a half hours with an intermediate lady and I have to say for 100 American dollars or 90 euros it's a great buy guys it's a great buy guys so uh, first of all so this this version this model is called TR Artengo TR960 precision and they have I think a precision pro in the store with smaller head and five gram heavier frame and let's talk about the specs so this is a 300 gram frame with balance the balance is 
where it is, where it is. Somewhere on the head or inside. So there it is with balance of 315. So it is balanced more to the hand than, uh, let's say, the other rackets from other brands that have 300 gram frame. So nicely balanced to the hand and the recommended the head size is 600 645 square centimeters 100 inch and the recommended tension is 21 to up to 25 kilos or 66 uh, 46 to 55 pounds uh, it's a full graphite racket the technologies for this racket are called HMC, the high modulus carbon. So it's a full graphite racket and it has some soft feel and absorption technology, soft feel. Uh, when I first saw the racket, uh, the head, what, what struck me was the head. So it's, it's a 645 square centimeters head size, but it looks actually it looks bigger somehow. And I think it's too, it's due to the thicker frame. So as you can see, the frame, I, I didn't measure it, but it looks like a 24 millimeters frame. But the thickness is when you turn the racket like this, and you can see that the frame is really, it's really thick. It's really thick. So there is a lots of material. And I believe the stiffness for this racket is also very high. I think it's around 70 RA, but I'm not sure. I will maybe find it on the Decathlon store page. I think there it should be. Uh, it should be there. And uh, I'm not sure about the swing weight. I didn't measure it, but I will do it later. I will post it in the next, the next video. Uh, I will do the quality control test for this racket. So, so, so the head, the head looks bigger than it is. The shape is rather more modern. It's not like the traditional oval shape with, let's say, symmetrical shape uh, on the tip of the head and on the lower part of the head. So if you look at the head, actually there is the sm the the smallest or the, 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 thin, the, the thinner the head and it goes wider and wider and wider. There is the widest part of the head and then it goes back. But it's not, it's not all typically oval like uh, when, you, when you compare it to the speed rackets from a head, for example. So uh, here is smaller and then it gets a little bit bigger and it ends also a little bit, let's say, wider there so it's, it's it's a mixture of the oval head shape and the more modern shape more squared shape so it's quite interesting and this kind of head shape should should actually support spin and also should support the the, the, the bigger sweet spot easier uh, hitting experience etc but why is it called why is it called a precision racket or the, this version is called precision? So I forgot to mention that the string pattern is 16 by 19. But if you look at it, then you can see that the strings are kind of, let's say, in this part close to the frame. And the space here is big, is bigger between these two strings. Then it gets tighter, 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 and in the middle it is more, it is more tighter than maybe uh, for some other rackets. I'm not sure, but I feel like this is why the racket is called the uh, let's say precision because the string pattern looks like it is more tighter in the center than for other 16 by 19 rackets and. How does the racket actually feel? So, uh, one more thing, one more thing I want to mention, guys, and then I will jump to the hitting experience, to the real experience. So, if you look at the throat, the throat is 
quite unique and it's quite similar to Wilson Clash if you look closely at the throat so this part of the throat is little bit let's say cut out so it's a little bit slimmer as you can see maybe you can see it when I turn it to to the light there you can see that the part is a little bit cut out and the overall shape here and there and also the color the color that makes this part more let's say visible it looks like a little bit like the clash rackets so it has something also to do with the flexibility but as i said before the racket is actually really really quite stiff it's much stiffer than the, the, the other modern modern uh, more flexible rackets like the speed the boom uh, uh, the wilson clash and other rackets so so that's that's one of the let's say uh, um, highlights of the rackets that the stiffness it reminds me a little bit of let's say the pure drive rackets and also the hitting experience is kind of similar in some way with the pure drive but it is mixed also mixed with the head speed rackets and maybe the head gravity racket so uh, when i first hit with this racket i felt like there is not much power actually in the racket so i felt like it felt a little bit the power i wanted but the precision the precision was there so i was hitting uh, shorter balls with this racket but when I got used to it, I changed a little bit my, let's say, my stroke, the way I hit the ball, because you need to hit more flat with this racket. It supports more flat hits and then the racket works. So actually I was uh, disappointed, disappointed uh, with the spin potential lacks spin potential it lacks the spin potential very much very much so the spin from this racket is i would compare it almost to to 18 by 20 string pattern rackets so that's my feel of it so almost like when i was hitting with the speed pro racket i felt almost the same lack of spin potential uh, but where, where the racket shines are not the let's say the, the classic spin strokes but where the racket really shines and I was really surprised how great it works are the sliced uh, strokes the volleys and the volleys on the net this racket feels so good so good so I think it's due to the to the balance to the uh, due to the 350 millimeters balance to the hand you can really easily position the racket but overall the racket actually feels much heavier to me than the 300 uh, 300 gram it's it's kind of it's kind of beefy and when you hit the volley with the racket the racket stays in the place it doesn't move it doesn't move uh, a bit it stays in the place and it transfers the energy to the ball immediately without any bending so that's why on the spin strokes I felt like it, it it lacks the power but when you hit the the ball flat like with volleys or serve because the, the hitting point when you hit the ball flat the contact that the ball the ball contacts the strings in a very short period of time but when you when you spin the ball you kind of drag the ball with the strings for a longer time and there comes the flex into the 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 action but when the racket has no flex it feels like you're hitting it with a with a wooden let's say uh wooden stick so that's why with the spin shots it is not 
it's not it's not actually working this racket but with the flatter shots it works really great so i was really happy on the volleys i didn't miss a single volley with this racket it is so stable it is so stable that uh, i'm not sure i oh yeah i've got it i can compare the stability and the overall feel on the volleys with the v core pro from yonex which is actually amazing for a racket that costs uh, let's say uh, almost more than a half half price of the v core pro 100 so uh guys artengo is in the game now because we have galmon fields he changed from wilson to artengo we have daria kasatkina he switched from my technifiber to artengo so artengo is going up and i will in the future definitely i want to try more rackets from artengo because they have even better rackets higher models for more advanced and professional players with a 305 gram frames with a tighter string patterns with the 18 by 20 string patterns they have even the plus versions though the longer rackets that are similar to the pure drive series and guys if you don't want to break your bank for a tennis racket and you are not let's say uh over overly oriented for the for the brands like Bubbleot or Wilson or or Head or Yonex and you don't really care about the brand you just want a decent stick for really good money then the Artengos are probably the best deal on the market without doubt so uh, I will get into the Artengo records more because I'm so excited how this store the decathlon store which is actually maybe the biggest sports store in europe and they're expanding to the usa and and other other countries and regions and they have really great great products for great money and they have even their own testing facility i believe in france because it's a french brand and they're testing the records with, with pros with amateurs with lots of people and they've they have great feedback from from the people and because they sell lots of these frames lots of the records they can make the the price lower as possible of course they are made they are made in china not sure where but i think it's it's it's, it's written even on the frame so there is even date where the when the record was made so this record was made in 2021 and what is the month may july in july 2021 and it was made in china and the city or the region or the factory is is called kuang kuang guang dong guang dong factory so we know where the record was made so guys there you have it these are my first impressions on the tr 960 precision artengo tennis racket and what can i say i think like the 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 main brands like bubble at wilson uh head yonex i think they reached the the the, the, the price points the price points for their products are so high are so high that in the future we will see more and more amateurs and maybe even pros the switching to these cheaper brands but with the, with a great quality because if you buy wilson you pay i'm 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 in no doubt that you pay 50 percent for the brand just for the brand just you play with wilson but in terms of the quality in terms of the the material and in terms of the yeah like uh, everything 
it, it's really close to these big brands of course they have more knowledge they are more advanced but the decathlon store with with the artingos they are really really doing great job and i think like in the future we will see more and more of these rackets in more and more hands of other players and they have also great tennis shoes i will probably and i hope i will one day try the 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 artingo shoes because i see them on many club players they're buying their shoes great price great uh, performance and comfort they are really satisfied with the product so you don't always need to pay the most to get the most of the products guys so yeah let me know in the comments what do you think about artingo records did you play ever with artingo or are you willing to buy a artingo racket uh, are you are you the budget tennis guy who rather invest the, the 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 spare money you can actually save from buying a tennis racket to something else you can buy instead of spending 250 dollars for a tennis racket you spend 100 dollars for a tennis racket then you buy new shoes then you buy lots of balls you can buy the accessories for the rackets why not you can buy actually two two or even three rackets for price of one premium brand tennis racket which sounds crazy but it's it is like it is so yeah so guys if you like this video click the thumbs up button if you didn't click the thumbs down button of course you can and thank you for commenting thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and if you want to support my channel just buy me a coffee i will highly appreciate it in the morning or in the afternoon when i'm tired when i want to really put the energy back to my body at least for a short time that's the coffee is really great for it so if you want to support my channel buy me a coffee the link is below this video in the description so guys for today it is all i will make a quality control test for this record and maybe an official or, uh, or the final review for this record but i need more time i need to spend more time with this record with more players on other surfaces on the clay on the carpet and to test the really wreck it to to its limits so thank you for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye guys